Welcome back guys, this is a follow-up to my last video where I was talking about one of my favourite scenes featuring the Dendrobium. Now in this video I want to talk about, just expand a little bit more on the actual uh, sort of mecha side of things just to explain what everything is and then also just to relate back to the actual model kits, the, gun the Gunpla model kits which is of course what this channel is all about. Okay, so without further ado, the Dendrobium. So, first of all, uh, the full code name of this is the RX78 GPO3S Gundam Dendrobium Stamen. Uh, long title, I know, but, uh, you know, I, I think quite deserving for a uh, quite an impressive unit. And it is, of course, made up by the GPO3 RX78 Gundam, piloted by Ko Yuraki, which is in uh, from the Stardust 0083 memory, uh, sorry, 0083 Stardust memory series. Uh, the test pilot that you saw in the, the video that I'm playing, by the way, I'm just, uh, but, uh, if you haven't seen that video that I'm talking about, then uh, there'll be a link in the description, so ha have a look at that first and uh, maybe come back here. But uh, the test pilot in that was Defra Car, I think. Uh, anyway, so the Gundam itself is the stamen unit and the actual Dendrobium is the Orcus unit so the two combine and uh, you know that's where you get the kind of uh, prototype space assault mobile ar armor is what they refer it to and it's made by Anamaheim Electronics and the operator is Earth Federation Forces. Now as you can see in the video, uh, the, the unit itself is quite impressive and large. It's actually 35 and a half meters in the in height alone, and 140 meters uh, in length in real scale. So uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty big. So you'll see a later part in this video with the actual model kits. They're they're actually massive as well. So. The concept of the GPO3 Dendrobium was to have massive, massive firepower and maneuverability, but with minimum use of actual manpower. So that's where you see the actual Gundam itself almost used as an escape pod. So, you know, when it's uh, either suffered heavy damage or if it's uh, completely spent and it needs to get a uh, quick getaway, then uh, it just disengages, and uh, that's that's where uh, you've got the heavy striker sort of ability, but you're only using one person. Uh, it had two large weapon racks and they contained 16 weapon containers each and that's where you see uh, most of the missile pods as well as uh, you know the folding bazookas and uh, there's a folding shield as well in one of the containers as a standard loadout. But uh, you'll see on the right here I'll, uh, I'll have a little pop-up uh, just showing you of all the different optional equipment uh, that the Dendrobium can have. Uh, aside from that, it had a war class mega beam cannon uh, loaded out onto the right hand side, and the round dish you see on the left hand side is the eye field generator. Um, it had two large claws, which I explained in the last video. They were sort of meant as a uh, kind of last point of defense, really. So if anything penetrated the eye field and uh, you know was in that uh, general vicinity where it's kind of uh, useless I guess with all the long range weaponry that the Dendrobium has then that's where the claws come in so that their range is short but it's designed to actually defend the uh, Dendrobium unit itself uh, during close combat. Okay so on to the model kits themselves as far as I know the Dendrobium is available in two mainstream kits made by Bandai and they both coincidentally carry the high grade badge uh, the thing is, they're both actually very, very different from each other, which I'll explain more now. Uh, the first one, the cheaper one, which is kind of what you know me and you would think of as an actual high grade, is uh, available as a the a one to five hundred and fiftieth scale model kit, so much, much smaller than uh, what we're used to uh, with the one forty four scale high grades, and I think it carries the high grade mechanics uh, logo, and basically it's kind of what you end up with is something about the same size as a normal high grade kit um, and this is what it looks like so you know it's it's kind of like um, standard high grade quality you know mostly two halves sandwiched together kind of thing and you kind of know what to expect I mean the price you're talking about uh, is also standard high grade so it's uh, 1200 yen so that was the high grade mechanics 1 to 550 scale kit 
and Bandai also do a proper high grade Universal Century 1 to 144 scale kit which is in scale with all the other high grade kits and this is one of the biggest kits that Bandai make it's also one of the most expensive and uh, that's the box this here by the way is a perfect grade RX78 and that's a master grade um, and the box you can see it just towers over uh, the perfect grid itself uh, it, it really is, uh, I've seen this in a shop myself and uh, it's a bit of a sight to behold with the size of the box to be honest and it's uh, right up there in the, in the league of uh, the actual full on uh, you know proper uh, perfect grade kits, the, the big ones so this retails in at uh, 28,000 yen list price and it, be got, it can be gotten for less but uh, as you can see, as you can see, this is still a very, very serious kit with a serious price tag. Okay, so let's have a little look in a bit more detail in what you would expect to get with this kit. Now, first of all, uh, you do get the stand, and you do get the uh, high-grade GPO3 stamen, which isn't really saying much because that kit is probably about what 1,200 yen, so it's not much, but you do get it uh, in included and you can do the little uh, arm claw posing uh, scene where uh, you know it's grabbing the bazookas so that's pretty cool and here's a full loadout of the armaments that you get so you obviously get the uh, the orcish unit uh, here it's nicely shaded uh, well that's one thing to note actually with this kit, even though it's a high grade, there's quite a lot of uh, mechanics going on in terms of the actual model kit, so all these claws are fully posable and all these hatches do slide and open uh, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but that said, the actual colour scheme, uh, you know, you're not going to get much colour separation because it is just grey and white, so it's a little dis uh, disappointing in that respect. However, you do get the uh, actual GPO free stamen and the stand as I've mentioned and also all these little ex accessories that really make the kit and you can actually fit all these things inside of these containers so uh, there is quite a lot of uh, kind of uh, robot damashi kind of playability factor uh, involved in this kit so that's pretty cool but then again for 28,000 yen I think you would expect that and just a little comparison here this is the uh, Dendrobium versus the uh, Strike Freedom Meteor unit. So, you know, it's the same concept, just, uh, you know, no, nothing quite does it in the same style as a Dendrobium, in my opinion. Just the sheer sort of mass of it all uh, is quite impressive on your shelf. And uh, there we have it. That is uh, a bit of a roundup of my GPO free Dendrobium. And don't forget, this video is based off uh, my original video where I'm talking about some of my favourite Gundam moments. So, uh, you know, if uh, what do you think? If uh, if you have a uh, another uh, scene that you would like to suggest that maybe I base my next set of videos on, then by all means let me know in the comments section. And uh, otherwise, then as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.